Hi everyone, welcome back to Harper's Toy Corner. So my voice is getting a little bit better, but it's not 100% there yet. But I wanted to go ahead and film this video and let you know our opinion because the Christmas season is coming up super, super fast. And I know a lot of you are looking into these dolls and wanting to know really which ones to buy. So I'm sorry if my camera's a little shaky. Harper's Cat's in here and it's just all over the place, so. Anyways, this doll over here, I believe her name is pronounced Mara, Mara Pinkett, I believe her name is pronounced like, that is her, she is from the Neon Shadows line, and this is Sabrina St. Cloud, which is from the Rainbow Divas. There is also dolls, if you see my short, there are dolls um, that come in the Royal Three, and we have, oh my gosh, why do I forget her name, Tiara. We found her in Walmart. Um, it's actually from my dad for Christmas for her. So we're not going to open that one. But we're going to go over these two because these two are, they're pink. I know they're not the same color pink. I fully understand that. And she's supposed to be rose gold, I believe. Um, but I'm going to go over them both, being that these are the same price point. They come with the same type of things to see which one I would prefer buying over another one. So I'm going to push Sabrina just off to the side just a little bit there and we're going to go over Mara. So the or Mara. I don't know. How, whoops. I don't know how to say it. Um so first off, I'm going to both say it for both of them. They do both come with an extra outfit. I did not dig it out of the Rainbow High bin for the both of them, but I will link these both in the description box below for Amazon and Target. Um, I'm not linking Walmart for them because Walmart has them for $10 more than Amazon and Target. So it's crazy to buy it there when you can get it for $10 cheaper. Um, but anyways, um, she is possible to stand on her own because she is doing it right now. And that was minimal effort that I had to stand on her own. She comes with a hat, her drumsticks, her drum set. She comes with a little um, jean jacket over top of her dress. And she comes with the fabric boots. Her hair is long and crimped. Um, this is right out of the box. You can see it does have some box hair marks there. And it is um, a little bit of product in it. She has big pink hoops on. And there is the front of her dress. She does have some embroidery like we've seen with Shadow High, Rainbow High, stuff like that. Everything's in good quality. And obviously she is a Shadow High doll, so she does have that color scheme. They do both come with a stand, as you just seen me pretty well pull apart. <laughs> Hers is the Shadow High stand. So like I said, she does come with an extra outfit. I just did not pull it out. But I mean, we've seen the extra outfits. You know, we either love them or we hate them. So I push her off to the side and we're going to bring Sabrina back in. And she fell off her stand too, so I'll show you that first. So she comes with a stand as well. Um, here is Sabrina. Obviously box hair once again. She has the markings on her hair. Very, very little product in this hair. Um, there is product in there, I'm not going to lie. Instead of a hat, she has oops, two little clips there in her hair. She does have a necklace that is attached to her dress. So it is part of the dress there. And then she has a dress. She does come with three bracelets and a molded ring on her hand. And then she has these heeled shoes. And there's her dress. Now her accessories are, they all come with a microphone stand. Okay, so she has a microphone stand. And then also they come with a makeup case. So this top opens. These piece, tray pieces do come out. You get this little eyeshadow palette. So there is the eyeshadow palette. And then she has a lip gloss and the makeup brushes. And then these doors also open up down here and she does come with a blow dryer as well. Okay. Now for both of these dolls, let me put her back on the stand and set them up so they can be in their respected places here. And she comes with the extra outfit as well. Once again, did not dig it out. So with these dolls, at a price point of $40, which is where they are at Target and Amazon, um, Walmart does have them still marked at $50, which the Rainbow, what is it, Rainbow Divas, was that what came out last year? Um, they were marked at a $50 price point, and I do believe they still are $50. I don't think they're on clearance yet. 
I know Target had them on sale not that far back for 25 but you know they came with the instrument the outfit they wore and then the extra outfit and they were marked at 50 bucks so getting these dolls for 40 is really amazing especially with price inflation you would think these would be at a 60 dollars price point this year just with the price inflation now each of the shadow high dolls just like the rainbow divas last year do each come with a different instrument mara comes with her drum set harley comes with the microphone and uma comes with the guitar with the Rainbow Divas, you are getting the same thing in each doll. With, you know, Sabrina, you did get the microphone in the chest. With Aisha, you're getting the microphone in the chest, just in silver. And then with, is it, is it Marissa? I think her name is Marissa, but I'm, don't quote me on that. It's the gold doll. She comes with the microphone and the chest. So with the Rainbow Divas, you're not getting any kind of different look to them besides the color and the scheme of their outfit. However, with the Rainbow Divas, you are getting different instruments with each one. Now it comes down to the point of which one would I much rather have. Spending $40 on a doll, obviously buying both of these collections, you are going to be spending a hefty amount if you buy both of them. You know, around $240 you're going to be spending to collect all three of each, you know, the Divas and the Shadows. And that's not including if you buy, you know, the Royal Three, which are also marked at $40. If you see in our short, you know it comes with an extra outfit, the doll, and um, they have a headset microphone, and that's all they get. They are really gorgeous. They do have a lot of gem to them, at least the one I've seen. So, I mean, is it worth it? Probably so. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear Harper's cat. She's very loud right now. So, my opinion, if I was to buy you know, just a set of three, and that's the ones my kid want for Christmas, and they're asking for both, I would go with the Divas. Reason being, even though you get the same thing in each Diva, and I understand that, you know, you're getting different instruments with these, and it all depends on if you collected, maybe if you collected the Divas as well. We collected all three of the Divas, okay? We paid the $50 a piece for them, and we collected all three of them. So we have a drum set, we have a microphone, we have a guitar, so, do we want the neon shadows? Yes, we do. Because Harper's a doll collector. She wants them all. But if I had to choose, I would put them on the back burner for now. And I would choose these dolls. And I'm going to give you my reasoning on why I would choose these over the other ones. First off, their dresses are gorgeous. All three of them have beautiful dresses. They are all three, you know, ball gown type dresses. Aisha's is my least favorite. I'm going to tell you right now because I don't like the feathers. I don't even like the feathers on her second outfit. I didn't like the feathers on Natasha. You know, I just, I don't like the feathers. And I don't think a lot of people do like the feathers. These dolls do come with some bracelets, you know, that you could interchange with other Rainbow High dolls. Um, they are just all over just a really stunning doll. Now, she does not come with any earrings and the, the bracelets you know, are in place of the earrings because Mara did come with earrings and she does not. No, she did come with earrings. I'm lying. Oh my gosh. She did come with earrings. We took them out because they do come out very easy. So the Rainbow Divas do come with earrings as well. They do all get these chests, but in these chests, you're getting a blow dryer, you're getting a lip gloss, you're getting an eyeshadow palette, and you're getting three makeup brushes, which is pretty awesome. And this has wheels that actually work, and it has a thing in the back that you could lift up, and your Rainbow High Dolls could pull it for play. So this can not only be used for the Diva line, it can also be used for other lines as well. Um, the microphone is kind of like, eh, okay, it's a microphone, great. Um, they do come to match their dolls, but I mean, it's not like anything to ride home about. It's just a plastic microphone. But the reason, I'm going to pull that off to the side, because the reason I like these dolls is because of their original outfit, plus I think their second outfits are gorgeous as well. I did end up buying the gold one, I think, Maline. Maline Lux, that's her name. I think I said, what did I say earlier? I don't even know. Her name is Maline Lux. Um... And I love her dress, obviously. And then she has a cheetah print jacket that's fur. And it's gorgeous. And I love it. And she's one of my favorites as well. Um, but yeah, so I love their dresses. I love their second outfits. And this is such a universal piece that can be used amongst not only your Rainbow High Dolls, but even your LMGs and maybe even Barbies if you play with those. 
So just my opinion, obviously, I say go with the Divas if you're torn between the two of them. But obviously, it all depends on what your child likes. So hopefully you guys tune into our next um, unboxing or review on the channel. And until the next time, we'll see you later. And let us know in the comments below which one you would be collecting if you had to choose. Would you be picking the Divas, the Shadows, or would you be picking the Royal Three? So let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you're doing. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.